Welcome back to the IMEV. Removing the onboard charger. My donor car has an onboard charger, which is dated 2015. So I'm hoping that A, it works, and B, it will match my car. Here's how I removed it. As you can see, I've taken off the rear access hatch. This is the MCU, and this is the charger for the onboard slow charger. Curiously, being a 2010 car, this charger has clearly been replaced, and in actual fact, has the identical connections to the one on my car. The charger's held onto the chassis by one, two, three bolts. However, it's also plumbed into the coolant here and at the back here, which needs to be drained before I can lift the unit off. The coolant system runs down the pipes above the battery pack, right down the middle of the car. Let's start by seeing if we can get the fluid out of the reservoir. Draining the coolant, I put a mole grip onto the C-clips that hold the hoses in place. They get the uh, C-clips out of the way. I'm then going to ease the joints and catch the water in the bucket underneath. The last coolant connection is on the side of the OBC. I've used my vice grips to get the C-clips nice and loose. I'm just going to move those off the actual connection onto the hose and then I've just got to release this rubber pipe from the unit. I'm not expecting any further fluid to come out. I got the majority of the coolant out through the reservoir using the vacuum suction. I got very little out of the OBC when I drained it via the hose but I'm still going to keep this. But perhaps not for the dregs. There are two bolts at the top which hold the reservoir for the air conditioning and the water cooling system in place and these bolt directly onto the side of the onboard charger so that's free so there are no batteries in this but i do need to take this shield off and there's one of the main current connectors which need to be disconnected to do that there's a white connection on the far side here that has to be pushed out that then allows the whole unit to be pulled off so my second black connector should then pull off and that little flap releases on the lock where my finger is and then you can release that. That then concludes the electrical connections at the front side of the box. On the rear side of the box, there is this one gray connector that needs to be disconnected. And you may also have an EBC on the top deck, similar to this charger, but the same feed cable and the same gray connector on the rear end of the OBC. This orange connection also comes from the rear of the onboard charger and there's a multi-way plug here that will need disconnecting. I found my multi-way plug pulled away from the chassis relatively easily and then there's a clip on the side here which you need to press. I've had to put my screwdriver down here and pull out the little connection where it's clipped to the chassis frame but that does now make my orange cable at the rear of the car free and ready for use. The grey connector on the end has a little push to release the tab. That will then slide off so that it leaves the grey connector attached to the OBC. The last connection is this earth connection here, which I will have to access from underneath with a 10mm spanner. Don't forget it. So I've got the grey terminal disconnected at the rear and the earth. I've got the orange power connections undone at the plug. I've undone the coolant on this side. I've got the U shape of the coolant down the bottom undone here. I've got the main input power connection and the black connection connect disconnected. I've now just got the four bolts to remove to take the unit out. 12 millimeter socket allows those bolts to be undone relatively easily. With the bolts out, it should be just a case of lifting the charger out. There we go, one removed onboard charger. Now to sort out the working car. So we lift the flap and let's start work. Having disconnected my suspect onboard charger, now is time to remove it. So here are the two chargers. The 215 charger has these two connections on the front end. The 210 has these. Look identical, don't they? 
The water outlet port and vent are exactly the same. And on the rear, you have this U-shaped pipe, this black socket and this gray socket. But notice nothing on the top. The 210 one also has the pipe, has the same black socket and the same gray socket. Just has these little extra boxes on the top. Other than that, the boxes aren't really any different. So here's hoping that this box works. Had a bit of a paint up, particularly at the parts I couldn't get to once the OBC's in. Not forgetting this side, of course. So now let's get the OBC in. So in true Haynes style, let's put it back together the way it came apart. Time to refill the coolant system. Just up to the normal mark that I've put back in about the same amount of fluid that I took out. Time to test it. With the installation complete, this has not completely solved the car's problems. So we're a little bit back to square one. I appear now to have a BMS fault within the battery pack. So that's going to be the next thing to investigate. I'm sure there'll be another video soon. Please look out for it. If you've liked these, do please like and subscribe. It all helps and it's free. See you next time on the iMev Diaries.